2019. The world is in the palm of our hand, but we don't own it. Everything is on the internet, but we don't own it. All it takes is a click to get something that we want. But do we own it? Online piracy is one of the most notorious crime for having the biggest number of violators who get away with it. Like this photo? Right click and save image as. Cool song? Web search convert to MP3. The latest movie still in theaters? Free HD streaming. The fact that most of you watching can relate to this seemingly harmless habit is worrisome and dangerous for creators who poured out their lives to produce and share their original work on the media. We all heard of the word torrent and what it's about. Torrenting is meant to make file sharing easier for everyone. However, downloading a copyrighted material is illegal and can result in fines and even prison sentences. Imagine living in a house you didn't buy, eating food you didn't pay for, and wearing clothes you didn't purchase. That is how creators feel when their work doesn't receive the credit and compensation they deserve. We interviewed an influential content creator and multimedia artist, as well as a creative professional who works for the production and broadcasting industry. Here's their take on whether torrenting should be legalized or not. My name is Jay Pilierba and I'm an animator, illustrator, and writer. So online piracy is when people download usually paid content for free from the internet, which is illegal. Uh, torrenting, people do it to download music or movies or shows. I think the reason why people torrent is because, or pirate it in general, is because they don't want to, they often don't want to pay for these content. Like they just want to watch it once for free and that's it. So, should we legalize torrenting? I think we shouldn't because uh, as someone in the media, I understand how hard and time-consuming it is to produce or to make th that content for viewers. Like, it's it's no joke. You sp we spend hours on the computer. It's like we're not getting paid properly for our jobs and being in the media is in fact a job and that's something that people don't seem to realize often. So I guess solutions to online piracy would be having more free legal streaming sites. Like uh, content creators could profit through advertisements instead because so that it would be free for the people and they get a lot of views they could get paid because advertisers would come to them. Sort of like you think it's a way to solve online piracy like you can't really force people to buy stuff all the time so there. Hi my name is Austin Tinawin I am an editor and assistant producer here at the EGG Network which is based in Malaysia. What is piracy? Alright, piracy is in the most uh, simplest terms, it is the unauthorized use or reproduction of someone else's work. Torrenting is a problem because it makes it really easy for someone to infringe on someone else's copyright material. Think of it this way, a torrent hub is basically something like a library where people can search for, search for things and you know, just take what they want and download everything else. Okay, um, a common misconception about torrents is that people think that they won't get caught. However, uh, history has shown us that it is not true because people have been caught using uh, torrents or, or providing torrents for people for other people to use. An example of this is the guys who own uh, the torrent hub, the Pirate Bay, and they were all sentenced to one year in jail and approximately about 3.5 million US dollars in fines and in damages. Again, the truth is, using torrents itself is not uh, illegal, but the action of using torrents to download copyrighted material is illegal. So, people can be criminally liable for it when they download copyrighted material like movies, books, programs that they use in your computer, games even. And this, these things are something that will get you caught. And when you get caught, the fines and the jail time is a real thing. A real thing, yeah. Making torrenting legal, my my personal input on that is to basically have a torrent hub or 
or torrent library that is based off the Netflix uh, business model. So people can subscribe monthly for an unlimited amount of torrents, which again would deter people from using it illegally. And it does help content creators in a sense where they do get paid for the material and again, it is not being stolen for free. In a torrent hub, people can control what what is being sent out because again, torrents are not usually the safest option for, for people who download it because again, there are viruses, there are malware, there are all these uh, nefarious things that is available through torrents. And having a torrent hub would help people, you know, make sure that this is safe on one hand and it does provide content creators a platform for them to showcase the work and you know reach out to a majority of people who really want to know and want to support them by buying the material the, the simple term is the simple fact is that infringing on someone else's material makes you a thief right and no one likes a thief support your content creators by buying their material and this allows them to make more material more entertaining material for you and the rest of the world to watch. Okay. The truth is, uh, it is very difficult for us to enforce enforce the law because, again, we are not part of law enforcement, right? So my advice to victims of online piracy is to, of course, watermark your material, right? As, as you know, that is our first line of defense against online piracy because even in our day-to-day -day lives, we can always say, okay, Fine, I'm just gonna put my name on the video and say, okay, this is my work, right? So that's that's what we do in our line of work. So in my company itself, we have our, our logo, which is placed on the top, top right of our videos. So that when someone shares our videos, again, be it legally or illegally, at least it is shown that it is done by our network. There's a balance of both the good and the bad. While they may not represent the entire population for creators and professionals, individual voices are important to be heard too. Societal norms and lack of education is not an excuse. Stop online piracy and support original content.